revelries? My name, great queen, is Christopher Marlowe, and I jive at this performance out of love for you, your majesty. Fellows, tis Marlowe. Look sharp. That's right. Uh, very well, Marlowe. Come forward. Take thy case. Ambrose Bird, rise and die this. Steady, go. Is that not a Will. Kit. Your Majesty, the good Secretary of State, Lord Robert Cecil, in the vested interest of the public nature, hath taken a closing down all the playhouses in London. Play, Your Majesty, the playhouses are a gathering place for pests. Yes, my dear, this is why we did not go to a flat shire for our good duchess. But, here. knowing the migration of the theatrical performance, Your Majesty, we did hear that by the royal commandment there was to be one playhouse to remain open. One actor in all of England would still have freedom to play. Yes, dear, such a thing exists. It's not a Shakespeare in his players. All shall I refer to them as the Queen's Moon. Then, for our and... love of you, Your Majesty, do I and the Ambrose men make challenge for that? Covered in tight. Challenge? <laughs> Tell us, on what grounds? Your Majesty deserves the best, the greatest, the finest performance that's available to grace your state and Christ. Pardon my sin vain, my queen, but I am the ablest men of the ultimate talent in England today. <laughs> <laughs> ultimate talent? You think of Bobbin Jay! Liar, liar, liar! Liberty. <laughs> Oh, thank you, John. Queen's yes, uh, well, I think we should be the judge of such things. Marlowe, bring forward thy men, show us a bit of something. Come with us, great queen of the many. It's the earth in seconds. Play it! Picture it! Ancient Rome! He jumps! Venice! When your eyes hit the sky like a big pizza pie. The moon! Uh, in proposition! Go! <laughs> Forgive my bombast, Your Majesty, but the amorous men can make angels cry. Amen! The clergy laugh! So, a priest, a rabbi, and a no, poor. No, no, no! No! No, Never no. mind. Um, women swoon! Oh, oh my! Woo. And old men dance! Oh, we are gifted! <laughs> Someone clean that up. Move. Of course, Your Majesty. Marlo, we must tell thee, to be no small time to supplant Shakespeare's men in our hearts. They have so moved us with their art that we have a need made them our own. <laughs> Today is but young and who knows? By its in the new curtain may rise in the last remaining theatre of London. Yes, this day we shall have a competition between two groups of players to see which will be the last remaining ship to England and therefore the throne. Master Shakespeare, <laughs> thou hast the preparation of a day. Use it wisely. Marlowe, be bold, sir. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh, yes, Henry, my dear. I have an excellent idea. Oh, let us hear it. Mayhap these two rival companies should engage in a friendly match of human chess. And that way the relative strengths of this competition can be put on display for all to see. Oh, oh, okay. Your Majesty. I must say, thou art indeed one of the smartest men I've ever met. Well, really? is what I do. I'm lying, of course. Go back. Ow! Ow! <laughs> 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 What say you people? What say you players? Shall we see these two teams compete in a friendly game of human chess? Oh, then such a thing shall happen. But until that time, take heed of our royal decree. There are to be no actions of violence on either part. Do you understand, boys? I am understand. Very well. We are waiting for waffles. God save us, good dear. God save the Queen!